Hello and welcome to another episode of Fintech Focus TV with me, Toby Babb. Today, uh, we've got a little twist for you. We're going to go away from the uh, the pure fintech chat and move into to, uh, a subject which I know has been massive on, on many agendas. Uh, this is a man who's helped me massively over the last 12 weeks and I'm hugely grateful for and we'll go into that in a minute. But uh, very, very pleased to introduce you all to Luke Matthews. Luke, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, really good. And it's uh, good to chat to you. Likewise, likewise. Great to have you on. So, uh, Luke... Um, is uh, well, I guess the founder of LM Con uh, Physique Consulting. And uh, a couple of months ago, I came across a post from Paul McVeigh, who's been on this show beforehand. Uh, and uh, Paul had done a, a, a transformation, body transformation over it, and he sort of uh, went out very proudly and and, uh, and revealed himself uh, after w working with you for a little bit on LinkedIn, yes, and, uh, did, yeah. and Instagram, and other bits and pieces. Uh, and I got in touch with Paul, saying, "said uh, said you're looking great." He goes, "Oh, you should get in touch with uh, Luke." And at that sort of stage, being being uh, painfully honest on camera, I was probably the heaviest I've been in in my life. Uh, I was mass, you know, we, we were right in in, in lockdown one. Uh, it was a stage where uh, you know everyone was working all the hours, um, and I wasn't, you know, I was, I was snacking and, and uh, not living the healthiest lifestyle at that sort of stage. And I thought, you know what, it's probably right that I'll, I'll do it. And uh, very very pleased I did because over the last uh, last twelve weeks, Luke's uh, Luke's been working with me, put a diet plan together. Uh, put a, a training plan together. I've got various bits and pieces that sort of usually have me injury, injuring myself and going hell for leather at the start and then uh, losing it for, for, for time afterwards. But Luke's uh, tailored everything to it and been an absolute uh, absolute legend, uh, <laughs> resulting as we come up to very close to 12 weeks. It's 12 weeks on Sunday, so two days time now, uh, with about three stones worth of, uh, of loss on it, which uh, tells you how much I had to lose in the first place. But, um, <laughs> but Luke... Um, I want you know with that with that intro behind you, you, you know what's what's been in, incredible for me is looking at the the the, uh, the stuff that you've been doing and you know particularly your Instagram and there's so many pictures there yeah. of people's lives you've been turning around, particularly through all of this. Now, yeah. uh, by, by nature of PT um, and doing stuff physically in gyms, you've moved digitally and, and are doing online stuff. You're out in Norwich. I'm over in Surrey. We've never physically met. Yes. Um, but you're there and able to sort of put programs in there that can have genuine transformational change for it. Tell us a little bit about how you work and what you're doing at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for the intro. I mean, what, what I started with, with like, you know, what you mentioned, uh, I'm, I'm Norwich based and over the years done a lot of personal training and got to the point where we're doing sort of really good uh, physique transformations in person, you know, um, that's how Paul started basically with me um, in one-to-ones and he got referred from someone else. You know, you're already busy with this and then obviously I wanted to work with more people so I was getting known um, sort of more nationally and that's when we took it online, um, you know, just to help a lot more people. So um, we do it all via email or, or WhatsApp um, communication. Um, it's actually sort of 24 seven access really, um, you know, there for support when whenever it's needed and we basically structure it around whatever you've got access to so you know I've, I've had people who have access to no equipment whatsoever um and we've adapted around that we've got some things on youtube which are literally all um non-equipment based training and then we just then get a diet plan to suit that now it might be um something called if it fits your macros which is basically not typical uh diet and bodybuilding dieting type thing um where a lot of people get sort of put off um by what we do i mean if you have a look on my instagram there's a lot of um competition based sort of program and stuff like that and everyone thinks that they have to lead like a really really boring lifestyle but what we look at doing is planning around what you think is achievable um and some of the food groups that you actually enjoy and um, we'll make sure we put ones in there that you you we won't have in there that you don't like sort of thing so if there's a food group that you don't like it definitely won't be included in and you can list a few things to me that you do enjoy and then we can work that in as well um you know we're all about just fitting it into a lifestyle so with that in mind that's where we're achieving really good success i believe because you know people feel like they can stick to it and be more accountable when they're doing something that they enjoy um along with the the contact that i give people um it just keeps them on track sort of thing um and as you said, like this through the last, you know, the last, well, this lockdown and the last one, um, that's basically what we've, we've, we've been doing. Um, just programming people to train at home or, or run outdoors and do various activities along with a structured diet plan. And we've, you know, we've been uh, hitting really good achievements through that. So that's kind of a, a brief bit of what we've been doing. Um, but it's, yeah, it's all, all going really well. And we're sort of 
branched out nationally now and internationally to be fair so it is going really well it is brilliant it's just it's that ability to sort of look at uh, you know the individual's needs and I remember sort of uh, putting a long long set of whatsapps over to you saying yeah, that's it, yeah. giving you all the reasons why I wouldn't be able to do this <laughs> very, yeah yeah, yeah. Very uh, but that, that is that's a massive part of it I think like um you know there's a lot of um sort of Instagram coaches out here you know you know fitness is is a massive thing there's loads of people you can find on Instagram um, who do the same thing as what I do but we we make sure we make it personal you, you know you get a lot of people who will just send the same plan out to you know to hundreds of people that are contacting them whereas what we do we're trying to make it very personal and we are you know we are making it very personable to, to people and you realize that you're dealing with someone individual do you know what I mean um, where we are actually responding to their needs rather than uh, just sending them out something and you know say stick to that base and have no contact so um, that's where we believe that you know the achievement comes from, basically. And it's all different levels, isn't it? Because because yes. uh, you know I, I remember looking at the Instagram and seeing right there's people there who are literally competing and and uh, that's it, yeah. Uh, you know, Mr. Universe type, you know, type yeah, yeah. Of people in there who are uh, who've been on a bit more of a journey going from and and, and I think yeah, you know, there's a couple who uh, who I who I noticed whether whether the change has been absolutely phenomenal over a sustained yeah. period, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, I mean, we've we've got a whole range of people. I mean, I when we were in comp competition season, not this year, but the year before, I had uh, world level athletes um, going through into sort of bodybuilding and fitness modeling competitions. And I've also trained, um, you know, pro footballers, pro rugby players, that sort of stuff. But I, I find that last year, um, you know, I was obviously very proud of what we were achieving in that sense. So a lot of content went out there for, you know, this bodybuilding type transformation that we were doing. Um, but then, you know, we, we do train all sorts as well. So then within the last year, especially like during the last lockdown, um, I really tried to refocus the the brand on everyone as a whole. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we, if I can do it with these high end individuals, I can definitely, you know, achieve anything with anyone basically, but it's a different way of coaching in, which is what I explained a little while ago, where we, we don't eat bodybuilding type foods all the time. We have a little bit more flexibility, stuff that you enjoy, and it's programmed around your lifestyle. So if you're busy like yourself, you know, we can work around that. You don't have to be doing three hours a day training or or, or whatever. So we, you know, we wanted to give that more personal touch and focus on that on our branding as well. So people could see that we're more than just bodybuilding or pro pro sports. Do you see what I mean? So that's that's where we're going at the minute. So and uh, we've had a really good response actually. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it's, and it's been so important right now, right? Because, um, you know, as we, as we go into uh, this second lockdown, one of the big challenges for, for businesses has been making sure that their, their team are productive, yeah. healthy, um, you know, that their mental health in particular yeah. is good as well. And this has got a huge link between, you know, healthy body, healthy, healthy mind, right? And uh, 100%, yeah, I'm a massive believer of that. Yeah. Um, that mentality um, side is a big part of what you, what you, you, you espouse and what you look for. Tell us a little bit more about the mental side of it all. It is. So it's, um, you know, it's hard into the productivity. Basically, there's there's two ways of looking at the situation that we're in. It's either looking at all the, the negatives that the media are putting out there, becoming really, really sort of down on on your outlook in life. And that then ties into the way that you sort of treat your body with eating and drinking and stuff like this. You know, people tend to turn to them stress factors, you know, eating bad food, drinking and in some cases, smoking, that sort of stuff. And you can see why people do it of course you can but what what we look at doing is is looking at the positives so we can say right well actually if you're at home then you've got easier access to eating good food because you know you don't have to spend two hours prepping to take your food into work do you know what i mean so your food is a lot more accessible um you some people uh, have more time at the minute so you know some people are furloughed so they have a lot more time so then we can say, okay, well, you're not, it, when you look at it, you're in an all right position. You know, you've, you're getting paid to, to be at home. You've got more free time. Well, let's use that focus into something where we can get you physically into a really good place. And then with that, when they start phys physically progressing, the mental side becomes a lot better because they feel like they've got a goal again. They feel like they've got a purpose. And because what we can do with people is achieve a hell of a lot within four weeks or, you know, it was 12 weeks during the, lock, the last lockdown, um, we can give them a, a new focus and a, and a positive focus and a positive outcome after all of that. So, um, you know, that's what we're we're doing as a brand at the minute is we're we're trying to promote using this time effectively, basically. 
and it's not just about lockdown is it i've sort of put you know put on to that i think it was actually we were we were either just coming out of lockdown or slightly liberated yeah. when we when we first got together yeah. and and uh you know, my sort of plan afterwards is to continue this all, all the way through because i think yes. people look at it and say right they've got fad diets and fad you know bits and they do it and yeah you know we we, we kicked off with 12 weeks yeah and everyone was saying to me what happens at the end of the 12 weeks you just balloon straight back up but um yeah, you know, the, the 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 change in my head is all, all about now about what's the next phase, you know, next phase after it. And yeah, that's really that's a brilliant point as well. Yeah, um, you know, as you say, we don't want to get caught up in the in the lockdown thing. That's more just uh, putting a, a positive spin currently. But what we do as a brand is we look to change the mentality in general to establish good food patterns because that you know that's the the key of all of this is is not seeing you know it adds a four week diet eight week diet or 12 week diet yes we have a period of time where the goals are stricter but then after that there's always a new phase that we work on too so most of my clients have been with me years because they they start off thinking right i'm going to get myself into a good place and then they they do this and they achieve so much and then they realize that there's a hell of a lot more that i can do for someone and therefore they just carry on reassess and then all of a sudden two years down the line they're in a position physically and mentally to be fair that they never thought they could achieve but it didn't really feel as tough as what they thought it was going to be because there's always a the next stage. You see what I mean? So it's all about, yeah, coaching a lifestyle rather than a physical change within the time. But when you make them changes sort of mentally and lifestyle, obviously the physical ones come. So we do focus on that on our Instagram saying this is what we can achieve, but it's physically anyway. But then what goes in behind it is all the the mental stuff and, you know, the the lifestyle programming, basically. Definitely. And that's the key factor. Tell, tell me a little bit about your um you know some of your success stories because some of them are incredible right you've and and, and uh, i know we've spoken about them in the past but tell me a, a yeah. little bit about some of the stories of where you've seen you know ordinary people sort of yeah. uh, you know, transform themselves as well. yeah so we've had there's a a couple um really really sort of astonishing photos on on the instagram to be fair we've had one guy who i think he was 12 stone um that he'd done within the time frame and within a year, he went from, you know, really poor food patterns and not so good sort of uh, mentality around around his food issues, because that's ultimately what we always sort of get to this point is our, our mentality around food. And then he went through all the cycles. He'd done two, two dieting cycles for me and then two high food phases. So he'd done one real good diet. Um, and then we then focused on good food patterns to keep that weight off. Had him in a good position, done another diet, and then um, he got really, really lean. So he he was uh, he had basically he was leaner than having abs. So there's there's phases that you can get to, but he's you know he got his abs showing through. He's really happy with that. We took him that a little bit further, so he was really, really lean, and then he kept all the weight off after that as well, and sort of led a sort of successful sort of uh, life of eating a little bit off plan and just enjoying his lifestyle sort of thing. So I mean that was well done on that one. We've also had um another guy who's just done a photo shoot as well he was about the same amount of weight um within the time frame so he's about 10 stone um so we've yeah we've had some real real big transformations there. they're all on the instagram as well um and we've had some other ones as well like on the on the one-to-ones that i do we've had um some different type of ones with injuries and stuff like that as well which is a is another side which obviously um you're familiar with uh, how much I know in and around sort of the injury side. Um, I had someone, I've been training her for nine years and basically she saw the top consultants in the UK. They said that as of four years ago, she should be in a wheelchair and she's still squatting, leg pressing, doing everything that you um, you would see a norm, normal gym goer doing. And we had an MRI four years ago and they basically said that, um, obviously I can't reverse degeneration, but they basically said that it, from the day that I start with her, it's completely halted it. Um, so, you know, these these sort of things are, you know, completely life-changing to people. And we focus on more than just a, a physical transformation. There's, you know, there's so much that goes goes to it. Yeah. I, think, I think that's, you know, that, that sort of injury side is, is worth talking about because, uh, yeah. you know, it's it's been some, you know, I, I, when I actually train, I enjoy training, but it's the bit where, where I will in, invariably break down after about four or five weeks because a knee yeah. will go or a back, or, you know, with that. Um, something called ankylosing spondylitis, which I, which I've got, and I sort of told you yeah. about it and said, look, this is going to be the problem. And in my head, going into it, I, I, my my pure belief was I've been used to managing pain for the best part of fifteen years on a consistent yeah. basis. So getting up out of bed, 
is an ordeal. I used to, I sometimes have to sort of rock myself out of bed to, yeah. to do that because I just seize up at various stages. Yeah. And one of the one of the key points of all of all this, despite you know training and running and, and uh, doing stuff more than I've done for for twenty years, is I've also not had any of the back, rib, knee pains or, or any of those issues. Touch wood, um, that's in there. And it's the supplements that have been you know been been helping with that. The uh, you know whether it's the food groups that have been doing it or just the sort of you know rhythm of of being yeah. more physically fit. It's been incredible. Mm um you know to actually look at that and say look again this is about tailoring it to that individual working with that individual yeah. and saying look let's fit into the lifestyle i was telling you about how you know i'll regularly be meeting people with uh for, you know for work and having lunches etc cetera, etc cetera. and you'll talk about the menu and what you can have on, on, the, yeah. on the menu what's the right thing to do with that i've yeah. talked to you about you know the fact that, 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 that there's a fairly social household here which uh, which has various bits and pieces that yeah, yeah. On it. so it was never you, you know this is about buddhism or anything like that and yeah. you're know, living like a monk this yeah, is yeah. About, this is about coming out there and putting yourself into a situation that works with you with your lifestyle and yeah that's why it's been easy to manage all, all the way through this and why i've been just you know it becomes more and more addictive and and gratifying all the way through it yeah. and it's and it's it's just you know when you talk about um you know mental health and productivity and satisfaction and happiness and all that sort of stuff I can, mm. i've never felt more uh vivacious i don't think in in years from from going through this process and i'm massively grateful to you for that as well yeah so i mean that's that's the great thing about about my job is hearing hearing things like that where you generally do make a difference to other people's lives and that's kind of where I've gone as a business I want to make that change to people's life you know you know what you were saying is I'm never going to say to people well you you can't ever go out within this phase and you know have client meetings or family meetings or whatever because realistically that's just that's just not going to happen you know if with the, the bodybuilding type clients um you know that we mentioned earlier when we're going that that strict then of course that is the case but where that then differs for getting in a very good very very good shape more than you ever would have thought you could achieve sort of day-to-day -day sort of shape then we still want to include these social social events etc um because it's so key to to people's mental health and and well-being in general that you don't restrict your lifestyle in that sense yes of, of course you can't be eating out five nights a week etc but you know, things do come up, you know, once a week or whatever, sometimes even twice a week with some clients and we work around it with the menus and, you know, they they don't feel stressed because they think, well, I know what I can eat here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that. I adapt my food for the day. I eat this when I'm out and I can still enjoy myself. And you still get that enjoyment factor from doing these social scenarios that, you know, that you um, would have been doing if you weren't dieting, but we just tell you how to adapt. And then in terms of the pain management thing that you were talking about as well, um, in terms of your everyday diet, when you have chronic conditions, um, you basically get an inflammatory response. So there's something that you can't do about, um, do anything about. But what we can do is look at making your lifestyle as anti-inflammatory as possible. And that generally, when the inflammation is managed, that's generally when pain is managed as well. So that's what we look at uh, doing. So any anything supplement-based is, is anti-inflammatory and the, the food groups that we are mostly anti-inflammatory as well um, so you then have a better pain management in that sense and then along with choosing exercises you know for your particular condition that wouldn't load areas that we don't want to and making sure we have a bit of a, a focus on posture and fascial tightness um, which basically to explain what fascial tightness is that's you have like your your muscular tightness and then you have like a fascia around the muscle belly as well when that becomes too tight that basically pulls on the nervous system and elevates the nervous system and creates chronic inflammation so when we can decrease inflammation overall by loosening out the fascia then all of a sudden your pain management is a lot better so you know we sort of that's that's why yoga is so important and why so many people sort of say about yoga which there's a little bit of crossover in what i do to to it um without people necessarily knowing but it's basically general mobility work which is adapted from yoga to make sure that you don't have that fascial tightness and and when that happens and you have less tightness you have less inflammation generally you feel a lot better in yourself anyway um, yeah. so that's, 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 that's what really worth pointing out as well because uh, you know think of, of of all the various bits and pieces that stretching and that root, stretching routine has probably been one of the most important parts of it because yeah like i say it, it was it was uh it was generally difficult getting out of bed at various different stages physically yeah um, yeah to, to you know to come to come out from that and the stretching has meant that, that that flexibility and the ability to uh you know not have to uh 
give a give an exhale every time you bend over yeah. to something off the floor is is yeah. is, a, is, a, is a f- incredible thing, right? Yeah, well, that's you know that's hugely uh, impacting on your life, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, to to for me to feel like I've addressed that even partially is a. Uh, is brilliant you know for, to hear that you know so um, it comes into sleep as well you know so the, the ability then to, to sleep which is a hugely important part of everyone's uh you know mental health and the, their ability yeah. to perform their ability to perform to high levels yeah. um you know for for a good few years for, for various bits and pieces you know i've been a, a terrible sleeper um and again with a couple of uh, you know the right supplements and, and and a little bit more you know, less pain at various different stages. It's meant that sleeping's been ten times better through through all of this as well. So it's having so, a, to explain, a big impact on every, all aspects of life. Yeah, so I can explain that one a little bit as well. So generally, um, when you have a lot more um, general tightness and inflammation, that will increase your cortisol patterns basically. And what what we need to sleep well is um, low cortisol in the evening and high in the morning. That's what makes you wake up fresh when your cortisol is high in the morning. And that's what makes you go to sleep when it's lower in the evening. If we have high cortisol in the evening, then generally we can't sleep. That also uh, links into serotonin, which is basically that regulates your sleep cycles as well and regulates your anxiety and depression. So if your serotonin levels are out and your cortisol levels are high, that means that your sleep patterns are going to be poor. And it's like this vicious sort of negative cycle, basically. So when everything's functioning in the way that it should be, then we have low cortisol in the evening, high in the morning, then you go to sleep, slip into a deep sleep, and then wake up refreshed because your cortisol is high in the morning. That's exactly sort of how or what we look at doing to get your body into that rhythm, basically. Yeah, yeah. So look, there'll be people watching this thinking, you know, it's it's a, it's about time for me to do to do something, and and uh, and and I've got to run up to Christmas. What what can they expect if they if they're sort of getting in touch with you and uh, looking at some online coaching and all that that yeah. sort of stuff? What can they expect from you, and what sort of results can they expect from you over the course of the next uh, you know four to six weeks? Yeah, so it's all it's all relative to the person. So say, for example, if I had uh, the training experience of someone who'd been training for 10 years um, and they're in a slightly better position, they will have different results. Um, whereas if someone's not been training for very long, three, four stone overweight, then they're going to have different results. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, for I, I program basically and goal set for each individual. So that is what I would do basically on consultation. So it's completely individual, but as, as a general sense, if we're talking a physical goal of, of weight loss, it could be anywhere from the minimum where we're looking at two pounds a week, right up to six, seven pounds a week. But, um, you know, that depends on the, the person's body composition when they start basically. But just by dropping me a message, tell, me asking you a few questions, you telling me a little bit about yourself, I can sort of do that right off the cuff anyway. So if people are curious to know what they could in- achieve within the time frame, you know, a few simple questions um, and taking a look at them and I can um, I can give them a, a goal set right from the off anyway. So that's what I'd advise people to do is um, if they are interested, you know, just drop me a message. We can just have a, have a chat. It doesn't mean that they, you know, obviously have to sign up or anything. They can just have a chat with me. I can say, look, this is what we can do for you within a time frame. If you want to get a bit go, then this is what we do. Now you might want to, not want to answer this on, uh, on, on screen, commit yourself to it and all that sort of thing. But, but uh, for me, it's been the, been the best money I've spent for, you know, for, for, for years and years and years. Uh, do you want to talk about the packages and all that sort of thing or? Yeah, 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 definitely. So, um, our standard coaching um, is fifty pounds a month um, for the online coaching. Um, with that, you get unlimited support, so you can sort of message daily, um, hourly if you want. Um, you know, we are contactable all the time. Um, you get all your diet and training plans um, sent across via email, and that is completely specific to to the person as well. Um, that does come with uh, changes as well. So, say for example, if we do two weeks and things are either going too fast or too slow, then we then do adapt on top of that as well which sometimes does happen people need a reprogram so that's your standard is sort of 50 pound a month in that um we do do um some online zoom classes at the minute as well so I've we have that, isn't it? yeah so we're now rolling that out at the minute so um generally we do sort of one-to-one classes and then during the last lo- lockdown we took that online as well so we have two classes a week uh for 25 pound a month um or 35 pound a month for unlimited access as well so basically you could have the monthly coaching with us where you'll get you know your diet side and the the check-ins for 50 pound a month and then if you wanted to you could sign up for the 35 pound a month and you could train you know every night with us basically which is all interactive with no equipment as well so um there is the option of doing that so um we are doing face 
FaceTime sessions as well. So individual FaceTime sessions that we're now um, rolling out. So um, we've got a deal where it's a hundred pounds for um, four FaceTime sessions as well, which is individual. So um, there's a, a few different options there, but the most popular one is that, that 50 pound a month, um, which, you know, which is the, the package that you sort of uh, came to me to do. And, you know, we get all the, you, you get all the support from that basically. Yeah, and it's been absolutely, you know, support is exactly the right word because it's been, uh, you know, I think I've had a lot of questions. It's not something I've done, you know, for, for, for a long, long time. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, you've always been there to, to sort of pick that up and answer anything at all sorts of times of the day, night, yeah. weekend, when, when, whenever it might be. And it's been massively, yeah. massively helpful. So, um, yeah. so, so and, and what do you need from people? What, you know, if someone's, if someone's there, you know, like we say, it can be anyone in any condition. Uh, yeah, what, that's what, right. Yeah. What's the sort of uh, things? What's the sort of investment that people are going to need, apart from the financial bit, to, to make it work for you? So it, it can be literally anything from just dietary control. If they, you know, if they came to me and said, "Look, um, I can't train that much, um, but I really want to give the diet inside a go," I can I can program on that. But likewise, if they said to me, "Right, I've got five days a week, an hour, an hour day I can train," then we'll program around that. So, in answer to the question, really. It, again it's completely dependent on the lifestyle i can adapt to anything you know generally as parameter wise i'd want someone to be training at least twice a week ideally three times and up but um that could be anywhere from sort of 30 to 45 minutes per time but basically if someone specifies what they can do i'll program around it because obviously if someone's training more they're training five days a week for two hours it's going to warrant a different diet plan to if someone was only training twice a week with a, a lesser intensity and then we just adapt the diet in and around their training sessions as well because it's going to be it's going to be different for the, the varying levels of activity so um it's yeah it is completely individual and we just basically need commitment um from the person to do what we say that's really all that we ask for is if i say right this is the diet plan and yes, you're only training twice a week, but as long as you stick to what I say, and as long as I, I know what you're doing as well. So say, for example, they have one week where, you know, something come up and they, they made an error, they, or they missed a session or they had a bad meal or whatever. As long as I know about it, then I can then just adapt around it. So it, more of what I ask for is accountability from people and honesty, basically. And if yeah. you do that, then you'll achieve what you want. You know, I'll, I'll make sure. And that accountability comes up every weekend when you send your uh, your Sunday email yeah. through and you sort yeah, that's of it. checklist it all the way down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I find is is the biggest thought of this is that you you know you're going to be checked up on. Um, yeah. You know, and that's what makes you do it because you don't want to turn around and say, oh, actually, no, I, I failed this week. No one wants to say that, you know, mm-hmm. especially with um, good-minded people like yourself and generally people that I attract is that no one wants to fail everyone wants to achieve and they want to tell you that they've achieved so that is the, the main driver of why they do so because they don't want to turn around and say actually no i haven't stuck to what you said this week you know yeah um and that's where it all comes from so that's why i find that people do so well um because they just want to achieve because they're they're ha- they have a small amount of pressure to do so yeah well look, i think i think it's been uh utterly incredible and and you know if, if you'd uh put the results out at the start of the 12 weeks of, of where we are at the moment um it's there and the other side of it you know when you talk about i think i said to you look, look i'm i'm going to be really honest about my ability of how much time i get i've been doing you know i was still going to the office at, at, that, at that sort of stage it was uh yeah, yeah 12 hour days with uh, hour long hour and a half long commutes either side of it and, and yeah. it wasn't an awful lot of time to put that sort of, you know everything into it no. But that's the biggest think, thing yeah. for me, like we was mentioning, is that you you are you know you are honest about everything, and and I'm not then going to turn around and say, oh, okay, well, you know, it doesn't sound like you're putting enough time aside to do it because that that isn't the case. Do you know, what I mean, at least I, I knew everything that was going on, and therefore I can program around it. So that's exactly what I mean by the accountability side. Is you were honest with me right from the off. We weren't setting you something that wasn't achievable. You know, and that is the key, isn't it? absolutely and it you know it felt achievable and then what happened you know throughout all of it is 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 uh now it's training every day um that training sort of what you know scaled up all the way through it we had the original thing which is which which was manageable that then became let's push it a little bit further and push it a little bit yeah. further and and uh the difference in fitness levels and just you know how, how i feel about doing the you know the, all the various bits and pieces is is phenomenal and it just gets what, you, it gives you the bug to want to do more and improve yeah that's what i was exactly going to say and that's what i find interesting is it, it's you coming to me saying you know i want to do more i want to do more do you know what i mean because <laughs> you, you're enjoying it so much and you're invested in it that's when you know you can that you you then are doing more because you want to do you know what i mean obviously you've always wanted to 
always wanted to, but you've had so much going on. But it, I like the fact that it's you having the motivation to come to me. It's not me saying, right, actually, like, we're going to step up, we're going to do this. It's like, oh, now what can I do to do more? You know, and that's that's what's brilliant about it. Well, it's been great fun. It's been great fun and yeah. it's been uh, hugely rewarding. And I'm massively, massively grateful for you. So, Luke, if, if people are listening to this and saying, do you know what, it's the right sort of time, how they get in touch with you? Um, you've heard all, all of the all of the benefits and everything in, in between it so far. And it's and, you know from from personal experience, I can vouch for the fact that there is no catch in this. It is it is just yeah. utterly brilliant. What's the what's the best way of anyone else who's doing it? Because I would massively, I can't recommend it you know, uh, more highly. Bless it's you, been uh, it's been genuinely transformational, and, and I think it's going to help anyone in any position. So, what's the yeah. best way of them getting in touch with you, Luke? Um, so anything on the socials. So uh, Instagram is is a big one. That um, if you just drop uh, me a message on Instagram, then I will then um, give you a personal number to to contact me on. So um, and then we then just do it through that. But we can do initial stages all through the Instagram Messenger anyway. We are on Facebook and LinkedIn and stuff as well. But um, Instagram is always the main one that people contact me through. So um, that's uh, at LM Physique, isn't it? At LM Physique, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Luke Matthews. Um, so if you type Luke Matthews or LM Physique in, um, my staff ones will come up as well. But um, yeah, contact me, um, LM Physique, Luke Matthews, and uh, I will. I can then speak to you through that. And fantastic, and I'm very happy to sort of introduce anyone to uh, you know to, to Luke as well, and uh, and put yeah. you through. So, um, Luke, listen, mate, it's uh, it's been an utter pleasure talking to you again, and thanks again. And for you know, I've said it a few yeah. times, I keep saying it to you at the moment, but thanks for all your help. It's been uh, no, that that means that means a hell of a lot. Um, that really does. You know, each person who sort of who who thinks that way is you know it is brilliant and makes my job worthwhile. So it's yeah. always good to hear. <laughs> it's only just beginning. We've got, we've got the next one to uh, to be plotting out already, and, and yeah, that's right. That and we're extending it out even further and and uh yeah uh lm for life let's go <laughs> <laughs> love that yeah <laughs> Luke, it's been brilliant talking to you thanks for coming on and thank you all for watching we'll see you soon on our episode of fintech focus tv thanks yeah, thank you very much thank you